Well, it's quite clear that the Home Secretary is motivated by naked political ambition, but also the Prime Minister and the Home Secretary want to deflect from the other problems of their government's making, the cost of living crisis, the fact that the King's Speech had no real uh, bills to support people who are struggling across the country, their economic uh, mismanagement, uh, austerity. So this is a useful device to deflect uh, from all that. But I think that there's, there's a responsibility on politicians, particularly senior politicians, to uh, address people's legitimate fears. People are worried uh, about anti-Semitism. Jewish people are frightened. Uh, Muslims are worried uh, about Islamophobia. They are frightened. What the government should be doing is addressing those fears, bringing people uh, uh, together, rather than making sweeping generalizations and reinforcing stereotypes. One of the cornerstones of our democracy is the right to protest. That should be you know, lawful, peaceful and uh, safe. If a small minority uh, are breaking the law, actions taken against them, but to characterize the entire march as a hate march is uh, wrong. And similarly, I think the Home Secretary and the Prime Minister need to understand that in this country we have operational independence of the police. It's wrong for politicians to be telling the police what to do. If today we allow our Home Secretary to tell the police which you know, protests to ban, what's to stop them tomorrow telling the police who to arrest? So the police have been speaking to the organisers of the pro-Palestinian march on Saturday. They've volunteered, they uh, have agreed to stay well away from the cenotaph. There are conditions attached, restrictions attached to the protests. So if they come near the cenotaph, the action can be taken uh, against them. Uh, my message to anybody protesting is, you know, please make sure you protest in a way that's lawful, peaceful and uh, safe. If people break the law on Saturday, action will be taken.